Hi folks and uh, welcome to the the channel. Um, I had hoped to do this uh, wee talkie bit outside but um, although the weather's glorious it's still quite chilly and I uh, thought it'd be better coming in and doing it in here but uh, the weather in the centre of Scotland over the last few days has been absolutely glorious. Uh, so much so that he uh, managed to get the patio power washed. I've got the grass scarified and cut. Um, I'm not sure whether I should have scarified it or not, but I did anyway. And uh, got the garage uh, cleared out. Uh, 20 years of rubbish. Well, not all rubbish, but a lot of stuff in there uh, that I'd forgot I had. Um, we built this house about 20 years ago. And there's big nails and tiles and other bits and bobs that have been left in the garage that I totally forgot about. So anyway, you got that cleared out. Um, the only problem is that uh, I can't take it to a local rubbish tip or a dump, as we call it here in uh, Scotland, uh, because they're closed just now because of the, the coronavirus. <clears throat> and I'm sure most of us have, have been affected uh, by the coronavirus uh, here in the UK, um, we're allowed out to get essential shopping uh, and uh, we can go for a walk once a day, as long as it's within the vicinity of your, your, your house. You're not allowed to jump the car and go for a long drive and get away up into the hills. Um, so for that reason, um, I won't be taking any new videos. I won't be flying a drone. Um, I won't probably be taking any any stills photography um, until the, we get the all clear that uh, we can leave the house and, and, and do these things. Um, but uh, one of the things <laughs> quite surprising is that uh, our local shop, Tesco's, um, they have a, a regulation now that on certain days between 9 and 10, only elderly people and uh, people who are disabled uh, can do their shopping and that's a great idea because it gives them a bit of space and a bit of time uh, with less people about to, to do that and uh, not knowing that I, I turned up to go in and the girl turned me away she said oh it's only old folk and uh, disabled folk so I didn't have the heart to tell her that uh, in two or three weeks time I'm going to be 70 um, so I just decided I would just walk away and go back later but it was quite quite chuffed that she thought I didn't look that old um, so there you go um, but one of the other good things about um, being in the house is it gives you time to do things that you normally normally wouldn't do and <clears throat> one of the things I've been doing is, is listening to music and I came across a a Christian album uh, called the Blessed Assurance and it's the new hymns Fanny Crosby I don't know if that's the correct title but it's along those lines it's, it's by Integrity Music and uh, some of you may well know that Fanny Crosby um, was a prolific hymn writer uh, she died in 2000 uh, oh, sorry 1915 she died in 1915 and uh, during her lifetime she wrote uh, somewhere in the region of 8,000 hymns. Many of them are still sung in church today. Uh, probably the best, the best known one is uh, Blessed Assurance, uh, Jesus is Mine, Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Absolutely brilliant words, lovely words. And um, she was blind from, I think, I'm not sure from birth or certainly not long after she was born. Um, she was blind and she did amazing work in her community um, but she wrote these these beautiful beautiful hymns and a lot of her uh, writings uh, weren't made known to the public um, they'd been stored away and um, one of the guys who I think is responsible for producing this record came across a lot of the stuff that she had written but never been published and uh, got a number of well-known Christian artists, worship leaders um, to sing some of these songs and uh, and one of the songs from this album is uh, Come to the Water by uh, Paul Bellucci. So I'm going to use that on this um, a vlog. Now the other thing about not getting out to do uh, put the drone up or do video stuff is that I haven't got any new stuff to put up 
But <clears throat> what I do have is um, material that I've shot over the last year or so when I was doing other vlogs but uh, never used because usually when you're out doing vlogs and stuff like that you take far too much uh, footage and uh, and then a lot of it isn't used. Um, so I'm going to rummage through some of that stuff and see if I can put together some vlogs with a footage perhaps that haven't you, well, you haven't seen on other vlogs. Um, some of it will be repeated. Um, so we'll see how we get on with that. And, uh, and then hopefully in a few weeks time or a few months time, whenever it is that we're giving the all clear, he will be able to get out and uh, get some new footage. So in the meantime, I hope you enjoy the vlog. Uh, please take care, stay safe and uh, God bless. and see it's rich and sweet come to the water and be made clean leave all your burdens there beside the stream it did just come the broken and undone
Hi folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the vlog. Um, but before we go, I, I, I'd like to leave you with a verse which has meant a lot to me uh, in my Christian life. And in these difficult times, uh, people are stressed, they're anxious, they're fearful uh, about what the, the, the future will hold. But <clears throat> when we know the Lord Jesus Christ is our Lord and our Saviour, He promises never to leave us, never to forsake us. Um, we're not promised that we won't experience uh, the difficulties in life. We're not immune from those. Uh, we can get cancer the same as, as anybody else. Uh, we can be struck down by coronavirus uh, the same as, as, as anybody else. But what we do have, uh, as I say, is a promise that God has given us. Never will he leave us, never will he forsake us. And the verse I'd like to leave you with uh, as I say, it's one that's meant a lot to me over the years and I have it written in my other Bible um, which has kind of fallen to bits and been held together by tape um, but this is what it says, it's found in Joshua uh, 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be terrified, do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go and for those of you who are watching this and who know the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and the Saviour, that's a promise we've been given. God keeps his promises. If you're watching this and uh, you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, your Lord and your Saviour, then as I've done in previous uh, vlogs, I would suggest you get a Bible and that you read the first four books of the New Testament, the Gospels, um, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Start there. Um, once the churches are open, uh, certainly in the UK just now, churches are all closed, but uh, find a, a church where they do a, a There Is Hope a course or a Christianity Explored course. Find more about the Christian faith and I would strongly uh, encourage you to put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and have the reassurance and the confidence uh, of these verses. Okay, thanks very much. That's me finished. See you next time. Bye.